Hi, my name is Jason Chancellor, and today I'm going to show you the JDation Designer. The purpose of this project is to allow the DIY Christmas light community to be able to design custom enclosures and mounting plates by just simply dragging and dropping components, uh, components being power supplies, fans, uh, controllers, dragging and drop components onto a mounting plate, and then having that mounting plate uh, custom cut either via a laser cutter or a CNC uh, machine. So today we're going to design, uh, my first design is called the DIY Compact Case. It's a design I came up with for my own show this year and been using it this year and actually worked out really well. Um, just to kind of show you what it is, let me come over here real quick. Um, let me start at the beginning. Well, this is, this is essentially the design here. It is a, uh, it's a controller that fits inside a 5-inch uh, square PVC pipe. Um, you can see it standing here. I've got it next to one of my... Uh, CG 1500s. Um, but this is the overall design here. Um, it's again, it's an acrylic enclosure that slides into a five inch C, five inch PVC square pipe. It's got a PVC pipe that w works on the bottom, so it can stand up. This is it without all the PVC. You can see that it's got a lower bottom shelf where the power supply slides. Um, it's got an adjustable top shelf, so if you're, I'm using the compact power supplies, if you're not using compact power supply, you can uh, raise this top shelf up, and then all your components go on the top here. Um, this is a bottom view. You can see our 40 millimeter fan here, some clamps uh, that come out the bottom. Uh, the top view in my design here, I've got a power distribution board and a little uh, pixel pop controller here. Again, another top design. Uh, you can see in this design, we've got a little cutout to make it kind of easy to get down to the screw holes on the on the uh, power supply. This is what the final product looks like. It's simply a laser cut acrylic in this case. We'll come back to that in a second. And then here's another view. I've got it in my tree. Uh, I used several of these in my trees this year. Okay, so that's what we're going to be building. Let me come back over here. Uh, to the JDation designer. This is kind of the main entry page. From here you can uh, either copy an existing design that someone has put out here. Um, in this case there's a couple of designs I've laid out here for the DIY compact case. We've also got some designs for just straight CG1500 uh, regular mounting plates. Or you can create a design from scratch and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, one thing that I think is important to mention is if you want to be able to save your designs, which of course you would be, it's really important to save your design first, uh, or, or I'm sorry, and to log in so you can save your design uh, before you start building. You can actually save designs without logging in, um, but if you log in, then you can come up here to My Designs and you can see all the designs that you've created. You can give them little descriptions, you can make them public or private or things like that. Okay, well let's start designing. Again, I think we're going to start today with a completely blank design. I don't think that's what you would typically do. I think you probably always start with somebody else's design because here I've already got my power supply and fan and things like that laid out. But let's just create a blank design for the purposes of uh, this demo. Um, this is essentially your canvas here. Um, over here is your controls that affect the canvas. Um, we've got zoom here on the left. Let's go ahead and zoom out so we can see the entire uh, canvas here. Um, just walking through this, this here is our top shelf in the design. This is the bottom shelf in the design. This is the bottom plate. This is the top plate. And these are the side plates. In this design, you don't really need to change anything on the side plates for the top plate. Really just the bottom plate, bottom shelf, top shelf. So let's go ahead and start adding some components to this. So first, I'm in Texas, so we need fans. So let me go up here, and I'm going to add a fan, a 40 millimeter fan hole to my design. So I'm going to drag this over to here on the bottom plate. One thing to mention, the only the black lines in our designer are actually cut lines. Everything else is there. All the other colors except for black are there just to help arrange components. So in this example, um, with this 40 millimeter fan I just dropped. All this is going to do is it's going to create a circle in the acrylic for the fan and then four little circles um, for the uh, fan hole. Let me just hop over here. I'll show you. I think I've got a picture of that. 
Yeah, so if you kind of look here, what we just did is we created, it's just going to create a circle with four little screw holes around it. So that's the concept. Black is the only thing that gets cut. Everything else is just to help you align things. All right, so we've got our fan. I'm going to add some clamp holes. So this is going to be, I think, where my, uh, for the top shelf, uh, the pigtails to come out. The bottom, this one here, will be for the, the power supply uh, plug to come out. You could all, of course, do this probably in one clamp, but I want to do it in two. So on our bottom shelf is where the power supply goes. So I've got in the designer right now, I've got my Meanwell LRS350. I think all these power supplies use standard holes. So I've dropped this on here and I need to rotate it around. You can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to kind of do some precision um, one millimeter moves of these designs. So we've got that kind of placed properly. So I think that's our bottom shelf is now set up. Let's start working on the top shelf here. I'm going to have first a uh, power distribution board. Let me slide this over to where I want it. I think right about there. Now you'll notice on these uh, components, not all the details are here, but what we try to show is anything that's uh, critical to aligning the component. So any power you know, kind of any places where you're going to be hooking up wires to the components. So in this case, this is where the main power comes in here, and this is where the power comes out. So we could try to show all those things, obviously, and then the shape, and then the screw. You know, if you if you zoom in on this, again, you'll see that the only thing I remember, again, that's going to actually be cut is these little black circles here. So those black circles are very precise. Um, that's exactly what's going to be cut into the acrylic. Everything else is just to help you use the designer. So we've got that there. Let me go ahead and add my controller. Um, we've got right now we have in the in the designer are the actual components that I use in my show. I use sand device and I use these ES Pixel Pops. Um, so let's add one of these. I'm gonna put it right there. I want to rotate it around a little bit. And we've got that. The next thing I'm going to show you is see these little squares here. These are zip tie. Uh, tie down holes. So you essentially put a zip tie through one side of the square and you put it through the other and you can uh, get all your cables nice and tight. You can also add those via components. Let me come up here, miscellaneous. And this is a zip tie. So I'm going to zoom into this a little bit. So you see what's going to be cut is just these two little squares and then I'm showing with the red kind of where the zip tie would go. So in my design I'm going to have a pigtail that comes you know, right through there so I want a zip tie to kind of secure that really well. Let me get the, move that around a little bit. Let's add a few more of those. I'm missing an image here. I have to figure out what's going on there. I'm going to add one of those right here. I'm going to move this down a little bit sure it's a little too close. Then let's add another one Over here, rotate it. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So now we're going to have power that comes off of our distribution board, goes through this tie wrap, um, and then out the front um, for my pigtails probably have some power that comes through here as well, through here as well, and then goes over to my ES Pixel Pop. Um, so I think we've got things pretty well aligned there. You know, one last thing I want to do is, remember this is the bottom shelf and this is the top shelf. Just for airflow purposes, I probably want to create a hole. You can kind of see it back over here. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. Maybe that's a better picture. You can kind of see it there too. But see how I've got a, an airflow hole cut in the top shelf. You know, that's totally up to you. I'm going to add one. Um, it's called a variable hole. So I've added that. Actually, I'm going to delete that because it kind of moved on me a little bit. And try that again. Variable hole. So here it is here. I'm going to make it obviously a lot bigger. 
I'm going to come down over here and just try to get it exactly the same size. One of the features I want to add in the designer is the ability to align components um, and do more construction lines to just help with lining things up. We're not there yet, so right now you just got to kind of eyeball that looks about right. So let me zoom out. So that's our design that we've created here. I'm going to save my design, and since I'm logged in, it's telling me that it's already been saved to my design library. If you hadn't logged in, it would actually just show you a link that you can come back to to get back to your design, but then you just have to keep track of a whole bunch of links. Okay, um, one thing, once you've created a design, you can always come in here and download the design in the four major formats, uh, PNG, SVG, EPS, DXF, these are the four formats you typically use um, when you are getting uh, something CNC uh, or laser cut. Um, so you can just download your design here or um, you can use our fabrication services. Um, I've got access to a laser cutter so I'll laser cut you one of these. Um, you know, If there's anybody else that has a laser cutter that wants to kind of be part of this just reach out to me. Um, a CNC machine too, there would probably be a little bit of work to convert uh, a DXF into a, a CNC design, but certainly it could be done. So just reach out to me and we can talk about getting you added into the designer uh, as a vendor. So that is essentially the JDH designer, just a reminder, so this is what we just designed and after it is laser cut, this is what will come out the other end. Um, you can see this is the bottom shelf we designed. You can see the four screw holes that we created. Um, this is the top shelf. Remember those zip tie holes? Those are all the zip tie holes right there. Um, here's the holes for our power distribution board. Um, here's the bottom plate. We've got our fan. Um, we've got our uh, holes that are there for the um, uh, pigtails to come out in the clamps. Um, and so it's, it's a millimeter perfect design that makes it really easy to do some assembly. I'm going to do another video here shortly that shows how you assemble one of these things because uh, there's definitely an order to it um, and maybe show off the design a little bit better. But if all of the components are managed via our GitHub, so let me come over here and show you our JDation GitHub. This is our GitHub, so if you want to add a component, um, say a new controller or a distribution, you just come over here at GitHub, it tells you exactly um, what you need to do to create that component and then you simply um, add that to our GitHub location and then when we do our next uh, build of the solution um, it will get included into the uh, product and then you can add it into your design. So anyways, that's the JDation Designer. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you very much.